Apenas Noticias. Can you say me? Welcome to the Loot Drop. I've been playing a bit of Redfall lately and, um, oh dear. Outside all the stuff that everyone else has been saying about it, like the buggy visuals, buggy gameplay and general blandness, the one thing that stuck out to me was the exposition was just this. Miss Ellison, I'm so happy to see you. I don't want to think about, I'm taking care of every, if you need medical supply, there are other people here who need help just as much as you. This issue isn't just confined to Redfall. Like when I played Horizon Forbidden West, I only lasted about an hour because Aloy's constant exposition just, it just got to me. There's just too much explicit explanation. Aloy's constantly reminding you of what you need to do, where you've just been and why her quest is so important. I, I just feel like there's certain forms of storytelling that, are, that, that become the default but aren't integrated in any meaningful way. Stuff like walk and talks, main character monologues and audio logs. Now look, games like Last of Us, Control and Life is Strange do those things extremely well, but other games just sort of tack them on. What I want more is thoughtful integrations of storytelling within the world of a game. These days I prefer being shown a story rather than told a story or when I'm given random fragments of a story that I have to piece together. Returnal and Inscription are recent favourite games of mine because they tell the story in such weird ways that make sense for their game. Returnal used the trope of death and respawning to frame its story. When you die further into a run, you, you might get a flash of a memory or a hint of a bit more story and it was up to you to piece it together. Inscription approaches a story in the same deliberate and thoughtful way. It's a meta narrative about game development and ARGs within a game that used ARGs to market the game. Playing Inscription made me ask myself the question, is, is this the end? But then it also made me ask the question, what does it mean for something to end? It's all about integrating stories into games in a way that makes sense. Less audio logs in a dystopian undersea city and more audio logs in a government office where it makes sense. Play Control, it's, it's so good. G'day you bloody legends, your old mate Drongo here. Flogs, I don't know if you have heard, but in this new Star Wars game, you can unlock a mullet. And so good. If there's one thing I've said that all these Star Wars games need more of, it's mullets. Check it out. Empire at the front, Moss Icy Cantina in the back, eh? And, and to be perfectly clear, game recognises game. Darth Vader, bad bloke. Sick helmet mullet though, eh? <laughs> but how do you find this bloody thing? Let old Dronga show ya. Oh, crikey, look at this bloody map. It's massive, it's bigger than a small moon. But we're not here to f General Grievous. Let's get looking. Hey, BD. Come on, mullet. Ah, oh, damn it. A bloody man bun? Bugger that piss weak shit. Now, now, where the bloody hell am I? Stuck out here and whoop whoop with all these droid dickheads? Bloody oath. Oh, f right off. Oh, I'm gonna crack the shits. Me dead. You know how many Bothans died to get me this info? F boy. Oh, rack off. Bloody hell, where the f is this thing? Oh, wait, I oh, know. Where the f is the mullet in Jetty Survivor? My, my mate was a Jetty Survivor, actually. Took the jet ski too fast on the ramp, lost his arm. Big up to Luke. <laughs> All right, legends, I found it. So, what you want to do is go to the derelict damn area here on Kobo, right? Then you can just run past these bloody dickheads up here. Jump up here, deal with these gronks. Run down here. Let's see what's over here. There she is, look at that, you beauties. I reckon it goes pretty good with that mo, eh? Chuck a pair of servo sunnies on that and then you'll look like that bloody legend from the chats, eh? I'm on my go. Oh, my go. oh, mate, I gotta wake up early tomorrow. Cert three and, uh, I don't even know. So there you go, that's how you get the mullet in that bloody Star Wars game. Piece of piss, easy right at the start of the game. Also, don't be a bloody dickhead. Chuck us a like, a couple subscribes, and may the force be bloody up you.
<laughs> Are we all done here? I've got to go to some court because they took my f***ing T16. Yeah, yeah, I was bullseye on prats with Luke. Can't shoot well because he lost his arm. Jetty accident, f***ing hell. Now it's time for my favourite segment where we share news too small oh, to elaborate on. Too big to ignore. It's barely news. It is. Oh. Gaming streamer Quackity has started the first ever multilingual Minecraft server, the QSMP, with live translation that translates voice into text in a bunch of different languages in real time, which is really, really cool. Apenas noticias. Spanish. Did I get it? Oh. Fall Guys is introducing a creative mode for their season update on May the 10th, which will allow players to build races, which to me, perfect opportunity to grief and be griefed by others. A pen de nouvelle. Oh, it got worse. That's it's, funch. Is this your Met Gala vibe? Yeah, did you know you have to be invited to those? Who would have thought? They get very upset when you gay crash, but check the fit. Look, they're missing out, truly. I'm Sonic. Devastating news for those trying to avoid spoilers. Physical copies of Tears of the Kingdom have been sold and leaked, even though the game isn't due out till May the 12th. So be warned, spoilers are everywhere and they're coming for you. Kanji na news. It's Korean for bad it is. Are you still wearing the fit? No. Aww. That's the loot drop. Coming out this week is Darkest Dungeon 2 on PC and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Switch. <gasps> hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube because we've got heaps of cool content, including a stream tonight. And you check out our Cult of the Lamb video. I made made the creator of Cult of the Lamb do pick farm work. That's right, pick up poop. And we've got a very cool uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom review coming out, so don't miss that. I miss you. I don't. A sweet moment turns sour. So quickly. Follow the TikTok. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs>